in TD volume, just like in TD1, we start by loading the input file that was exported from TD3. And uh, we can see the machine type has been automatically set as from. And uh, if we proceed to the main dimensions, then uh, these have also been pre-filled from the TD3 file. And also the cross section type has been set to symmetric. And then the shapes that you entry, duct, and the outlet have all been set as circle because this was specified in TD3. And then the outlet tube settings are also preset to match those in TD3. And uh, here we have the option to choose the type of outlet, such as tangential or radial. And we can go with a tangential outlet in this case. And then finally, the most important part is the inlet boundary conditions, which is the specification of the radial and tangential velocity components coming out of the impeller exit into the volume. So we can specify a constant value throughout the circumference or we can specify a profile as well. And uh, in this case, we can go with this constant value that's been specified from the TD3 report, both for the radial as, as well as the tangential velocity components. So next we can run the calculation and uh, this runs a 2D inverse design code to give us the optimum area distribution for the given velocity in the profile. And then in the post tab, we have a 3D view of the uh, of the volume that we generated. As well as some plots such as the velocity vectors and the uh, cross section area along the circumference, which is clearly, uh, clearly unique and non-linear. And then finally, there are also some useful performance parameters of interest, such as the total head loss estimate and uh, other geometric parameters as well. And uh, once we have the volume design, it's possible to then directly export a solid IGS model of the same for a staged CSD analysis with the impeller.